Okay partners, so my baby's three weeks old, so all this information is super fresh. My wife had a hospital birth and we went through the public system in New South Wales, Australia. Now let me start with this. The midwife at my wife's birth was so impressed by how calm I was during the labor, she had to ask me what I did for a living after. She thought I was a doctor or someone who was comfortable with stressful situations, which is not at all what I do. I just had a game plan, I stuck to it, did some solid prep, and in return made my life and my wife's life a lot easier during the whole process. Best prep we did for this was a face-to-face -face class called Calm Birth. Now I know this version of birthing class is available under different names in various countries. In Australia it's called Calm Birth, in Sweden it's called Prophylax and so on. So I'm sure you can find something similar in your area or country. A little bit about Calm Birth. I was a little hesitant to go to a class about birth, especially after hearing about the meditation aspect and the sort of hippie way of approaching birth. But I bit my tongue and I went with my wife. I'm not gonna go through the whole syllabus of Calm Birth, but essentially it allowed my wife and I to look at birth from a totally different perspective. We left the course not nervous or scared about birthing, but more excited to give birth, which I never thought would be possible. A combination of breathing techniques, word association, various birthing positions, visualization techniques, and all around self-care made us extremely confident going into birth. One tip I do wanna to give to make sure everyone has the most fulfilling time during the course is let all of your inhibitions go. Be silly, ask stupid questions, don't take yourself too seriously. This should be a fun process. So your local hospital will have classes which you can attend. Do them. I found that the more I consumed about birth, the more I obviously learnt and the better I could prepare. We watched live births, from water births to hospital bed births, you'll see everything that is normal, which at face value, to someone who has never seen birth, doesn't look normal. You'll get used to the blood, the screams of mum, and even down to the constant beeping from the machines in the hospital. They can be a little boring, these courses, but they're free, so why not? Talk to your friends who have recently given birth, not parents or older people, things have changed. Talking to friends, it was such a great way for my wife and I to hear all different versions of birth, from water births to births in a car to C-sections, epidurals and more. This is a great way to understand how each birthing experience is different, but also how your friends got through it. And in the end, it's really an afterthought because now they have a baby. Make sure you have your baby bag prepped, the earlier the better. If you're like me, you do things last minute, but this is something you should have ready to go even if you are a few months away from your due date. It's great to have your baby bag ready, so in the back of your mind, it's just one less thing to worry about. Then once the day comes, it's simply pick it up, head to the hospital, and away you go. I'll post a link with some guidance of what you might need in your hospital bag below, so check it out. Try and be midwife 2.0. This was probably my favorite tool which I picked up during my wife's labor. The midwives are so calm and professional since they do this every day. It's their job. So I decided to watch how they encourage my wife and how they massage her, how they treat her and simply just copy them and do the same for my wife. I managed to learn how to read the machine which showed the contractions and this allowed me to help her breathe through the contractions when they were at its peak and then finishing off. I learned the best way to massage her during the pain and the best words of affirmation and motivation from seeing exactly what they did. Don't worry, for the first few hours, you'll feel a little redundant and all over the shop, but suck it up, put your big person pants on, and help your partner the best you can. So there's five tips which I hope will keep you calm, cool, and collected during your partner's birth. Embrace the beautiful journey that it is. Don't squirm, don't be negative, but get excited. It's really a once in a lifetime experience you'll have an experience with your partner and your new baby. I hope this video helped. Please subscribe for some more dad things.